Did you know that there are more than 70 miles of safety paths here in Bloomfield Township? We created this map that includes points of interest along the safety paths. You should have received a copy in our fall newsletter, or you can download a copy from our website at bit.ly forward slash SPPOI22. You may ask yourself, what's the difference between safety paths and sidewalks? Safety paths are intended for three season use, while sidewalks require shoveling, either by residents or a municipality in the winter. Originally designed to enable children to get to and from school safely by walking, the paths encourage safe pedestrian family travel to local areas of interest and shopping. We've arrived at the Franklin Cider Mill, located at the southwesternmost corner of Bloomfield Township. Open from Labor Day through the Sunday after Thanksgiving, there's nothing that says fall like cider and donuts. Heading north along Franklin Road, prepare yourself for an uphill ride. While there are safety paths for most of Telegraph, other paths throughout the township are much more scenic. A favorite stop is our beloved library with its award-winning gardens and terrace. It's a good place to stop if you need a rest or a bio break, but we'll continue on to one of our next points of interest on our safety path map, the Frank Lloyd Wright Smith House, located just a half mile from the library. Tours of the home are managed by Cranbrook Center for Collections and Research and run May through November. Now, if you're looking for a short outdoor adventure, you can park your car at the Johnson Nature Center, then head off for a four and a half mile ride to another township treasure, the Bowers School Farm. I don't know about you, but I love having a destination. Not only can you visit with goats, but ice cream and lunch are available. To report path maintenance issues, you can call the Engineering and Environmental Department Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 5.30, or email anytime. As a reminder, there is a safety path millage renewal on the ballot this November. 